Well, we're talking about the tropics, our first weekend of November, because our next name system is on the horizon and it is headed for the Gulf of Mexico. But nothing to worry too much about because we've got November things going on. Stronger wind shear, drier air in the Gulf of Mexico, and slightly cooler ocean temperatures that will help weaken this system. But in the meantime, we'll be watching it closely. It is designated as potential tropical cyclone 18 from the National Hurricane Center. They've been investigating it. It's in the Caribbean now. It does have a closed center. Sustained winds 35 miles per hour now. So in the Caribbean, it's a little bit more favorable for some strengthening. It will probably become Tropical Storm Raphael early this week and then could be a Category 1 hurricane by midweek Wednesday as it approaches the western part of Cuba. So if you have plans in the western Caribbean early this week, there's going to be some nasty weather there in the coming days. Then this gets into the Gulf later in the week and it does weaken down to a tropical storm at least. It may go down even further than that. This is something we'll be watching closely. There's still a lot of uncertainty, a lot of spread in the cone of uncertainty later in the week. We are included in this on the top end of it in southeast Louisiana and south Mississippi, but it's not a guarantee it'll even come here. But I do think we'll see more tropical moisture later in the week, leading to more rain for us here at home. Probably late Thursday, Friday, really the most rain we'll probably get is on Friday on Friday and then possibly into early in the weekend as well. So I'll show you with the moisture going into the next couple of days. The system, yeah, could strengthen to a cat one storm by the time it reaches western Cuba Wednesday time frame. But here's all that tropical moisture getting directed around this upper ridge of high pressure into the Gulf. And then you notice it does weaken. That closed circulation kind of comes down a bit and weakens. The latest model run taking more of the moisture to the east, towards Florida, towards the southeast. So we'll see. We may get a taste of that moisture later in the week. It's just going to change from model run to model run. There's a lot of uncertainty because this time of the year, we've got the strong upper level winds. This upper low coming in will help knock it maybe to the east before it even reaches us. So we may not even really be impacted by this at all. And if we are, it's not going to be something of major concerned because we have all these limiting factors that will help keep this at bay and keep it on the weaker side. Here is that stronger wind shear that's just present over the Gulf and it'll continue to enhance later in the week as that upper low approaches uh, the, the at least the Midwest and the lower Mississippi River Valley. So strong upper level winds help to knock it down in intensity, the drier air, the cooler ocean temperatures. I keep harping on these things because these are all our friends. These are all great things to harp on at this point in the season. So I wouldn't panic too much and rainfall totals over the next week. The highest still look to be placed over Florida, Georgia, South Carolina the Gulf of Mexico itself, the eastern part of it. Here at home, we may get up to maybe a half an inch, maybe up to an inch of rain at best over the next week. And we can certainly benefit from some rain. And we'll see multiple opportunities for rain, not even tropical moisture later in the week. But on Tuesday, a front comes nearby, and that will trigger a few showers for us. But like I mentioned, the next name on the list is Rafael. It will probably get named that by tomorrow or Tuesday at least.